Number four, for each of the isotopes in exercise 21.1, determine the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons in a neutral atom of the isotope. And then here's one of the examples in exercise 21.1. So we have 73 on the top, 36 on the bottom, and a Kr, which is krypton. In this example, we just have to find out the total of protons, neutrons, and electrons. So let's just write it out here. So we got protons, okay, neutrons, and electrons. Now the first thing that I notice is that they did say that we have a neutral atom. And the only number in this world that has no charge, it's not positive nor negative, is zero, right? But these subatomic particles, some of them have charges. So in order to make something neutral, right, we have to cancel out our charges. And the two charges that are opposite each other are positives and negatives. So if you wanna get something that's neutral, AKA no charge, whatever positives that you have it has to equal the negatives. So if you have five positive charges, I have to combat that with five negative charges and together they'll equal zero, which is neutral. So now which of the subatomic particles here, protons, neutrons, or electrons are positive? Yeah, you're absolutely correct. It's the plus, right? The positive stands for protons. So P positive, P protons, so you could think of it that way. Okay, cool. And now the E in electrons, oop, I just gave you the answer. <laughs> ah, the negative, which one out of the subatomic particles is electrons or negative? It's the electrons. <laughs> um, so those are negative. And then neutrons are neutral. They have no charge. So neutral, no charge all with ends and that's that so if we have a neutral atom we know that the number of protons have to equal the number of electrons so whatever number we get for one of them we will know the other but let's try to find out now the number for either the proton or the electron so i got two numbers here i got a 73 up on top i got a 36 on the bottom what do these numbers really mean well, the number on the top is classified as the atomic mass. So we'll put that down. And the number on the bottom represents the atomic number. Now, one of these will lead us to the number of protons. Turns out that the atomic number is the same as saying this is your total number of protons. Always the smaller number out of the two in this type of notation is always going to be the number of protons. So there you go, 36 atomic number. Every element has a different atomic number. It's all unique. So for a krypton, which is Kr, it has an atomic number of 36, which means that it has 36 protons. And since it said that we have a neutral atom, 36 protons, 36 positives, has to equal out the 36 negatives that are outside of the nucleus. Now we have two thirds of the answer. We just need to find out the neutrons. Well, that has to do with something with the atomic mass, right? And you're absolutely correct. The atomic mass is the mass of the nucleus. The bulk of the mass of any element is in its nucleus. So there are two particles in the nucleus. It's your protons. So those are there. And then you have your neutrons. So now here's a question for you, right? If we have the atomic mass of 73, right, which represents the protons and the neutrons, and we have an atomic number, which is just the protons of 36, what would I have to do with these numbers to just get the neutrons? Yeah, we would have to subtract them, right? Because if you have protons and neutrons and you subtract the protons, they go bye-bye. And now all you're left is just the neutrons. So whether you do 73 minus 36, that's going to give you the number of neutrons. Now you can do it, you know, whichever way you want to do it, old school way, counting up. I personally like to count up. So I count up from 36 to 73, but you know, you could subtract if we're doing mental math, you could also use your calculator if you want to. doesn't really matter. 
but let's see, from 36 going up, um, we have 4, that will get us to 40, then 3, so 34, 35, 36, so 37 is the number of neutrons, so 37, and that is the final answer, so we have both 36 protons and neutrons because it's neutral, and then from the numbers that they gave us, we have 37 neutrons. And that's it. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to. And if you want to become a member and get more perks, uh, you can become a member to the channel. There's four tiers. So maybe one tier, you know, fits you, right? It's not obligated or mandatory, uh, but any little bit helps us out, which in turn helps you out, and in turn helps the channel out. So. Thank you uh, for considering, and yeah, I hope you have a great day. Keep studying hard, and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.